two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's begin. These are special waterproof matches. Rather than conventional combustion, they use a similar reaction to that of grease fires, which you should never pour water on. As you can see here, pouring water onto this match does nothing to stop the fire from burning. The match is completely submerged beneath the water, but doesn't go out until it runs out of fuel. If you take a slinky and drop it while it's in tension, you'll notice that the bottom of the slinky doesn't start falling until the rest of the slinky catches up. If you blow out a candle, you can relight it from above by lighting a stream of unburned wax vapor that propagates the flame back to the wick. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. This cool slinky phenomenon is 100% real, and you actually can relight a candle using its unburned wax vapor. Here's an additional slow-mo, just cause it's cool. None of what I said about this match was true. I just filmed filling the container up and lighting the match in two separate shots and overlaid them, changing the opacity of one of the layers. Hopefully you got that one right, but if not, it's time for round two. If you statically charge a comb by rubbing it on your hair, you can attract the water coming out of a faucet and cause it to curve towards the comb. Using Bernoulli's principle, a ping pong ball in a hairdryer stream will experience equal pressure on all sides, allowing the ping pong ball to remain roughly stagnant in the hairdryer stream. This works no matter what angle the hairdryer blows on the ping pong ball. After spinning a raw egg, abruptly stop it, but then release your finger. The egg will continue to spin. Here's a slow motion for additional proof. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. A statically charged comb does attract water from the faucet. When you stop the outer shell of the egg, the yolk is still moving inside. So when you release it, the egg does start moving again. That means this one's fake. The ping pong ball does actually float above the hair dryer, but only when it's pushing from below, or slightly from the side. This only works because it's opposing gravity. When you put the hair dryer above, it does not work at all. Next up, it's time for round three. If you place a ping pong ball on a full glass bottle of water, the ping pong ball will act like a cap for the bottle and prevent most of the water from spilling out, even when the bottle is turned upside down. Only a few drops leak and the overall experiment is even stable for abrupt movements. A regular piece of string has a difficult time picking up a block of ice from above, but if you pour a bit of salt at the contact point of the string in the ice and wait about 30 seconds to a minute, you can now pick up the ice cubes. If you place a battery on a closed loop of conductors around a magnetic coin, the current induces a magnetic field that causes the coin to at first vibrate and then spin. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. The salt helps melt the ice cube and then it refreezes over the string, so this one is 100% real. Hopefully you all realize that this one was fake. The utensils don't even complete the circuit and the whole thing was actually put in reverse. 